Hello everybody and welcome back to Bleach Modded Survival with me, Gender Shadow. And I've got the- I still can't get over how cool this mod looks, although it does look weird when you try and block the better movement mod or whatever it's called, better animation. I don't know, it looks like you're trying to take some kind of weird sumo stance. <laughs> anyway, um, I also added in a map mod, which made things really easy, because I was trying to use Ray's mini map, it wouldn't work. And it was get, becoming a real pain in the ass. So... I said I got I tried all our maps and I found this one which really works well and I think they've been able to see people on the map it actually makes real good sense because when you're a soul reaper you can actually sense a lot of people's presence so you know now I can see where the enemies are on the map which means I can get all the hollows like the one that's down here sitting Put the hollow mask on oh god it's a bat <laughs> die motherfucker Fucking hate bat ones to make it. fucking blindness. Oh, that was nice. It's always a nice way to start. Oh, I only got two rejects out of that. Oh, well, it was worth the trip anyway, just for the memories. All right, so I'm trying to think what's on the agenda today, because between episodes, since I had a bunch of levels, I enchanted a level thirty pickaxe, and I got fortune three, no, unbreaking three, fortune two, efficiency four. So that was that was just amazing. Then, um, two people, Assassin and Deadman, have came on the server. So Assassin's got a house somewhere far away. I think it, I noted it on my map somewhere. Home's there. Um, yeah, Assassin's house is about 674 blocks that way. Deadman came on. He came on while I haven't been on yet, so I don't know where he lives. But he did message me saying he found this place and he asked to borrow Rijutsu. He borrowed two freaking stacks and a bet. God damn it. the fuck was he making? Um... Just gonna guess, because originally he asked if he could borrow something to make a sword, which, you know, is not, that's not a lot, maybe, it's less than a stack, I'm pretty sure. So I'm guessing they also went and made the armor and stuff to go with it, which, you know, I've got tons of rigid, so, so, now, to begin with, I just thought it was like two and a half stacks, but so I'm like, what the fuck did they make? Then it, it bit to me, oh yeah, the, the armor and stuff, like, the cool Shimigami outfit I've got on, <laughs> you know. And between, after enchanting the level 31, I got a bunch more levels, so I, I got put a level 19 enchantment on my... Iron Axe here, I got un Sharpness, the Unbreaking 3. I just really wanted the Unbreaking and maybe Efficiency for cutting trees, but now I've got a Sharpness weapon too, so... Oh well. <laughs> anyway. Um, the plan for the agenda day, since I've now got a map mod on... I'm just gonna make sure. Like I was saying, uh... Oh yeah, I was breeding the cows as well. Deadman asked me why I was breeding the cows so much. It's so if people are here, I can hide amongst them. <laughs> and no one will find me. Anyway, um, like I was saying, the agenda for today, I'm going to go back to the twilight, and since I've got the map mod on, I can mark where the start is, and then I can venture, there's a sign over there, what the hell does the sign say? What does the sign say? Straight this way to Dead Man's house. I'll check that later then, because I'm not, I'm not going to be in this dimension for long. Oh yeah, I upgraded this as well. See, I've been very bored between episodes, with Ryan still being on holiday, it, it really has not a lot to do, because I want to be, Ryan to be here to do certain things. Anyway, plan is, going to the twilight, and... I'm going to mark the start with a marker and then I'm going to go out and look for more dungeons and stuff because now that we've got the minimap mod we can get back here anytime we need to because the twilight is a glitchy freaky place where the minimap stuff does not work not minimap the magic map does not work and on top of that if I crash inside the twilight and say I need to leave the game it's got like if I try and re-enter the game while in the twilight it'll crash the full it'll crash my game over repeatedly over and over again so I need to be really careful while I'm in here. Hence why I'm just gonna go trotting along and see what I can find. Some I've got a bunch more bosses to find. I thought I've killed three Nagas already and I've called killed an Alpha Yeti. But that's been it. So I need to go find the uh, let's see, I've got Hydra, King Lich, I've got that Urgas, there's an underground one that I know about, and like a maze place, and then there's another one, this this weird one where you need to put a head on a monument or something. I saw the Yogscast doing. So anyway. Let's see what I can find out here, see if I can find something interesting. Okay, so just something to note. I'm looking on the map right now and I'm seeing a really weird shaped head thing that I don't recognise. I don't know whether to be afraid of this or not. I'm guessing it's because it's inside a hollow hill that there's obviously some kind of, it's some kind of weird mob within there. But I really want to know what it is, so um, let's have a little look, so shall we? Hello, hello. Oh, it's a yeti. No, it's a troll. Okay. Right, it's a troll is what I was seeing. Um, 
I don't really have much in the way of light right now. So, at least this is a hollow hill, so I may as well get in and get in some supplies and stuff while I've got the opportunity. I think possibly one of the best things about the Twilight could be the factor that even when you're underground, if you need sticks, they're so easy to get a hold of. Just because there's those weird underground things. Hello, Tro. I remember my first meeting with Trolls. It wasn't such a pleasant experience because he scared the absolute living fuck out of me. Actually, I'm going to deal with you first. Or not, he's going to jump up and keep hitting me. There. Fuck. Come here. Come here. Dealt with. So that's a hollow hill that I'm next to, so I'm as well going to... Freaking Trolls hit really hard. Look at the amount of... Look at the amount of freaking spirit energy I've lost already. I'm not even in the hollow hill yet. What is this witchcraft? I might as well just looting all the damn supplies while I'm here, because <laughs> let's face it, I need them. I've not got very much in stock right now. Freaking iron, everything is all running out, so I think this will be a nice little mining trip while I'm in here. I'm not going to bore everyone by making them watch everything until I get inside the actual hollow hill itself and see what what's down there. Freaking snipers! Freaking nearly blast him into a creeper. Jerk. Twilight Forest loves its skeletons. I'll give it that one. Loves its skeletons. Hello. Dude, I can see you coming no matter what way you come from. Ah! Freaking hate these things. There we go. They always teleport and move and shit. It's annoying. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm good down here. Pretty sure there's maybe a chest down here. Don't worry about drowning, I've got a plan. Ah, <gasps> oh, charm of keeping, steak, bucket of milk. Okay, I need to ditch stuff, I need to ditch stuff. Um, ditch, 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 ditch. Bucket of milk, yes. Ellen seeds, why not? Chicken, no thanks. Oops. Did that. Why do I want the buckets of milk so much? Good chance to dump my shit though. Tons of air. <laughs> um, I think that's everything, pretty much. Time to go. Are you serious? There's another one. How does I always keep finding these things? Mask on. Why are you not going fire? Ah, I need to hit the head. Makes sense. Oh. Ring it. The hell? I see suffix. Bring it. Bring it, dude. Oh god, he might kill me. <laughs> uh, bomb to death. Ow, 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 ow. <gasps> that jerk! No! Shit. I think it was this way. No! How could I let myself get beaten like that? Oops. Oh yeah, I've got... Keep inventory on. Wait, I thought I turned that off. Ah. I cannot believe I just got my ass kicked by a naga. What were the odds of that happening, really? I came in so cocky thinking, oh, I've got this. And the fucker sweeps around and gets me. Well, fuck. Alright, I need to go for a rent. Go and get revenge on that sucker. I, I generally forgot I had to keep inventory on. Because I remember I put it on because it was... You know, one of those situations where I figured if something glitches out, then I'm going to get cheated out of my stuff, but it's not the case. Fuck you, Naga. Gotcha. I really should just bore them to death. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, at least nothing bad came out of that, apart from getting my ass kicked by Naga for once. Oh, it's a nice change, at least they're getting their revenge on me. 
for all that the mean things I've done to them over the past. Ah, okay, so so from entering this weird, um, I don't know, some kind of weird forest place, I actually get hunger three or hunger four. Oh, it's just hunger now. Okay. I, know, I was over. I must have been hit by a mosquito or something. And then I looked and I'm like, I'm hungry. What the hell? Something's happened. Okay, I explained it. Wait a minute. No. That's what. Look. The fuck? What's doing this? What the fuck's going on with this forest? There, see, hunger's back. Hunger for drains you like a bitch. What's going on? Chickens at this rate, I'm gonna have to murder you to get. Ah! The fuck? It's raining! Put me out! The fuck's going on? I don't understand what's going on right now. Um. Against an enchanted forest doesn't like me very much. That is a Hydra bit. Oh God, the lag. I see a bit for a Hydra. Maybe. That is just unloaded chunks. Nope, that's a bit for a Hydra. Hydra, yep, Hydra's there. And he's spawned in and he's angry. Okay, so let's not approach him straight away. Let's go round the back. Let's mark the place. Get a bit away from the old one. I don't know why the hell things are setting fire to me randomly. This is becoming annoying. <clears throat> okay, best option to go with the Hydra is to shoot it. Somewhere that it hurts it. Oh, hello. There we go, got him. I don't know what the hell's hitting it, but I'm not caring. Ow, 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 ow. Look how much freaking damage this thing's done to me. Plus, I'm not regaining spirit energy as quickly because I keep taking damage from fire for some reason. Ah, 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 hot. Hot. Stay away, Naga. Seriously, only that head. You can only hurt him through that head. I keep repounding these freaking things. Or is it just I need to get close? Urgh! Whoa! Okay. It's a freaking onslaught. I can't kill the Hydra. There's no chance I'm going to be able to kill him with this armor on. I need to wait for Ryan to come in and help me. Because he's actually fireproof. So he'll be able to handle that no problem. <laughs> I think I'll leave the Hydra until... I'll leave him alone until um, Ryan arrives. Because I can shoot him with my bow all day. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to kill that thing. Because it's got so much health until Ryan comes and helps me. That or take a fire resistance. But get fire resistance on. That might work. Oh well. I'm going to return home first and dump all my shit and come back fresh. Okay, that's my inventory cleared. And now I should have plenty of space to get whatever goodies I can try and get from the twilight. If it would stop kicking my ass. That, that Today's episode theme is definitely just the twilight's revenge on me because it's, it's just been destroying me all day. Bloody skeletons causing me trouble. And the naga's causing me trouble. And then the hydra's causing me trouble. <laughs> you get the general theme. It's, it's not been going well. Died twice already. Thank God for keep inventory. If it wasn't for that, I'd be in quite a predicament. I suppose I would have made my way back there, but... You know, it saves some trouble. Plus, I think the Hydra would have actually destroyed all my things. Through the burning, so... Freshly thankful I did. I had that on. So originally that was just in case anything glitched out. Anyway, there's a nice little well. Oh. I found that if I walk along, instead of... Um, doing my Shimigami running and stuff, I... It's a lot easier to... Avoid the chunks, like lagging me, but it still seems to pop up now and then because it's loading in all the new chunks. Oh, hello. It's a pretty small one. Alright, because there's a cave below it. That makes sense then. 
Ah, brave fucker. I made it. Beautiful. Let's go into unloaded chunks and unloaded territory. See what's around. So what I would give just to find a lich castle right now or something. What I would give. You know, just as I said what I give for a lich castle, I walked literally about... I was just over next to that tree. I walked literally just over here and this loaded up. Oh, aren't I lucky? Okay. Now, I've died so many times in these things in the past. I need to be really... Is it actually a ravine leading up to the castle? That is insane. Okay, I need to be really careful in these things because I know the horrors that lie within. It's nothing pretty. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Oh, God. I know there's a lot of spawners up these things. Oh, now he's got an excuse to spawn. That's just great. I actually have an excuse to spawn this time. No, I'm gonna look for all the treasures I can get as well. I don't want to waste any messed. I don't want any messed opportunities at treasure. Okay, well, this is clearly meant to lead somewhere. Oh well. Oh, the abandoned library. Lots of free books. Yeah, it's plenty of books then. All right, time to make my way up this sucker. I generally believe I would be better doing this. Oh, hello. I'm getting rid of that mass now because it's just wasting a lot of my energy up. Oh, hello. This explains why there's so many down here. Fucker! Die. I'm going to have so many bones by the end of this. Um, don't be broken. Don't be so crammed that there's no chest either. Speed potion, fire charge. Potion of poison. Glass bottles I don't need. Bones seems to be the general theme of something I'm collecting. Why not? Oh, that's quite nice. A speed 2 potion. That's useful. One thing I actually do need to start making is potions, but I figured since Ryan has his blade that gives him fire resistance, he'd be better suited to go into the nether and get me them. Or get us them. Because, I mean, I know he needs to, you need to go in and you need to get a, whatchamacallit. Hold on. Let me deal. Let me deal with this fucker first. All right. You need to go in and you need to get blaze rods from a dungeon. But since that requires being around a lot of lava normally and a lot of blazes, I figured Ryan would be best suited for that job. If you think about it, it makes sense. Ah uh, ha ha. Is this just filled with skeletons? Is that just the theme of this, of the freaking Twilight World right now? It's just filled with skeletons. Well, cause, cause old Ginger Shadow here has as much grief as the possibly can. <laughs> Prex. Fucking, I'll kill them all. <laughs> give me that, give me that painting. Are they seriously just like falling through this? Oh yeah. Bye. They're gonna come back up and get me. I always wonder if I do get see a tent so up on th on that top floor bit, next to the ledge, will I just blast the bottom floor bit completely and kill myself? In the process. I'm gonna be honest. That seems like the most likely thing to happen right now. Um, although I don't know how much damage I take from fall damage, it's really hard to say. Oh god, a book. Knowledge, my worst enemy. Um, oh fucker, I didn't see you there. Yeah, yeah. Right, that should be all the spawners then. Now it's just a matter of time. Oh yeah, something I've been thinking about lately. I was thinking about doing some kind of mini-series. Doing... Right, I haven't actually done a review on this yet, but it's one I'm considering doing is on... Fuck! Crap myself there. I was, I was thinking about doing a review on the Amnesia mod. I saw one of my friends, Zombie... Um, oh god, what's the rest of Zombie Wars SMT, SNT. And... Basically, he covered the Amnesia mod and it looked really cool. So, I thought... I was considering possibly covering it for one, just so... It, it was known on my channel. Plus, I'd give credit where it's due. It was Zombie that showed me the mods. So, I'm not going to say, oh, I found this cool mod gash. No, it's, Zombie showed me the Well, they didn't show me. Put a mod review on it and I watched it. But yeah, it's a really cool mod. Where you basically have sanity. Like in the actual game itself, you have sanity. And... I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's going on here. Well, anyway, you have sanity. And... 
if you go if you're in the dark, you lose sanity. So, you know, that makes sense. That's like in the actual game itself. Fair enough. But on top of that, there's also these new mobs and stuff that spawn. So they reduce your sanity even further. Plus, there's new doors and new things. I was thinking about tying that in with if anyone watched me, me and other YouTubers killing the Ender Dragon. It's a video I did ages ago where I actually, we go out to kill the Ender Dragon in a world, the Super Dark S, the Super Dark World basically. It's a world where there's, you're just completely underground caved in. There's like very little resources and you've got to kind of find, make your way through it and find it. So me and all these YouTubers, we all spent, or and just friends in general, we spent a lot of time just playing on it one day. We sat up for about eight hours solid playing on it. We actually got to the point where we're like, we could kick the Ender Dragon right now. We recorded the fight with it. I got killed instantly because I went up first and the Ender Dragon swooped me off the edge and I died. But the world itself is completely covered in dark, so you have to use torches to light yourself up and, you know, there's a lot of mobs spawn in that place. So I figured, well, what if I tied in the Amnesia mod with that place? Would that be interesting? I think it would. So that's something I'm considering doing. Okay, let's have a go at this boss here. Your witch. <sighs> okay. Alright. Let's do this. Ah! Fuck. Right, green ones don't do shit. Right, red ones, another hand. Um. No, it's. No, it's. Wait, it's not. Opposite way around. Green ones, you fire back. Ow. These are doing quite a lot of damage, I might add. Yeah, it's another shield gun. No, is that another shield gun? I can't tell. That's a red one. There you go, another one gone. Ah! This is just like a big game here. Ow! Right, back up a second. Back up a second. Fuckers! Get lost! Take diamond sword and use it. Ow! Never mind! Never mind! Never mind! Never mind! Never mind! <laughs> block up, block up, block up. <sighs> Fuckers. They tear away at your health. It's not fair. Or it's perfectly fair, but even still, it's three on one. Alright, I'm just going to chill here for a second till my heart, my health and spirit comes back a little bit. I cover my composure. Fuck. Okay, right, I've got my health back. I don't quite have all my spirit back. I don't have any Rejutsu on me, unfortunately. Um, I wonder, I think Swiftness 2 for 4 minutes might help. I don't think it will, but I'm going to use it anyway. Bring it! Dodge the green shit. I did a really good job there dodging that green shit, didn't I? Come on. Right, green ones. Yes! Ah. Okay, that's... Fucker! Damn it! <laughs> Why can't I kill any fucking things in the toilet today? Oh God damn it! The fails, all oh, the fails. All right, the Twilight's bested me for today, but you know whatever. I'm just gonna take it like a man <laughs> and say the Twilight wins this round. God damn it! That was the Naga, the Hydra, <laughs> and the Literal killed me today. Anyway, guys, I'm um, I'm just gonna end this episode here, and I'll get my revenge on it next time. Hopefully by then Ryan will be here with me and I can actually take down the three... Oh, I suppose I killed the Naga, but... The Naga was on very little health as it was. The Hydra and the Lich, they're the target. So hopefully next time I can take care of them. Anyway, dudes, I've been Ginger Shadow. This has been Minecraft Bleach Survival. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed and be sure to suggest any ideas you think or any cool mods you want me to add. See you all next time, dudes. Goodbye, everybody.